What's up, you guys? This your girl, Nala. You are right here in the den online with us on Power 904 Radio, straight out of Jacksonville, Florida. And I'm sitting here with my boy, OBK Trade. Yeah. Right. Yeah, this your boy, OBK <laughs> oh. Trade, T R I W G. Okay, so tell us a little bit about yourself, what you do, and why you doing what you do. Okay, I go by the name of OBK Trade, the original born king. OBK Trig, off brand killer Trig, the realest independent go getter. I'm from Elkhart, Indiana, you know, a small city, you know what I'm saying? But it's, it, 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 it's a lot going on, you know, you got your artists and stuff. Um, So I've been doing this music, you know what I'm saying? I'm an I'm a entrepreneur. I'm an I'm a entrepreneur. I'm a rapper. I'm a, um, you know, I have my own podcast, Real, Real Talk on Real Live. I have my own clothing line. Um, real apparel clothing brand. Um, this is one of them right here, you know, real apparel clothing brand, my brand. Um, I'm on the front cover of a magazine, so you know I'm real about what I do, you know what I mean? No play thing. So it's just about, you know, I do music, is it running my family. So and out of all my brothers and sisters and stuff, you know, I'm the I'm the youngest and I got four sisters and three brothers, and all of them older than me and I'm the only one that still do music. And this story was told to me a long time ago, years ago, when I ain't know nothing about music. So wow. it's all part. I think what I do is a part of God plan, too, not just mine, you know, because this is something that, you know, it, it take a lot of patience. It take a lot of it take a lot of everything. And God making a way, you know, he, he making a way he make, you know, he making that path for me. So. I, I do music because I love music. I got my own style of music. Um, I mean, I'm original. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gonna you ain't gonna find nobody sound like me. <laughs> you ain't gonna find nobody sound like me. So and that's real. We look for that that standout is what makes you different, what makes you yeah. as an artist different from the rest of them. So that's big. That's big, I especially yeah, now. I, I definitely stand out. People will be telling me all the time, like, bro, I don't know how you do it, but you know, you you got that old school feel, but you still interact with what today's music is about. You know what I mean? Like you 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 fit right in with your style of music. So, hey, I won't change it for nothing. I'm here. I'm here to stay. Yeah. I ain't going nowhere no time soon. So, love it, love it. So, how do you maintain a healthy work balance? I mean, you. It, it it take it do it do take balance because I I balance a family. <laughs> I got I got a wife. I got a newborn that's be, that will be here in September. Okay. Yeah, appreciate it. I got a newborn daughter who will be here in September. Um, I just started a job a, a job. You know, um, I got my own landscaping company. It, you know, you just gotta. First of all, you can't be lazy. You can't be lazy. Yeah, a lazy person. <laughs> A lazy person ain't gonna have a chance, you know. You gotta really be, you gotta be interactive with what's going on around you. So it just, you know, I just try to balance it out the best way I can, you know. Give my family time, you know. Give get them the time that they need with me. Um, I gotta work because you know I need this work money to put behind my career. You know that what make me look good. It's you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. You know I gotta take their money to put behind my stuff. So. So I got to work, you know, bills don't stop, you know what I'm saying? And the record deal ain't here yet, you know? So I still got to work a nine to five. I still got to get up every day. I still got to do all that, you know what I'm saying? And I just thank God that I have the energy and the ability to even get up and go to work after everything that I do. My work ain't never done. Even when I leave here at 630, I still got to go get things done for this job, which is my music career. That is so real. That's the word. And I, I commend you on that because it takes a lot. I do podcasts and I'm not an artist, but it feels like I am because it's the same right. hustle on the same end. I work a nine to five. I got a two year old mom and I work a nine, to, you know, do the nine to five of podcast and trying to catch events on the outside. Yeah. And like you said, yeah. our work is never done. The editing never stops. This never stops. So it's like in between, I'd be like, you don't even know what was going on before I sat in front of this camera. Like, hey, exactly, exactly. <laughs> like they, they really don't, they really don't be knowing. They really don't. Right. Like, people ask me all the time. Like they really be asking me. Like a lot of people don't get to see me, like in work clothes, so on and so forth. 
they see right. when I'm out in public, when I step out, I'm I'm either dazzle up in my jewelry, you know, my clothing brand all the way down, whole nine yards. So when they do, when people do see me, like, you know, at work and they find out that I do music, they be like, man, how do you balance? How Like, how do you do all this stuff, bro? And I be like, man, and I show them pictures. I show them pictures and video. They be like, damn, bro, you do all this? Like, damn, I, ain't, I did not know that you did all this stuff because they look, they see me in work clothes. So they don't know what I got going on outside of work. And right. yeah, you go to your, you you definitely go to your. But it makes, them re- it, it makes them respect you a whole lot more. Cause even like in my job, when I tell them, I'd be like, I can't work this day. I got this and then I got this, you know? And they're like, how do you do that? And then you still got, and it's like that yeah. like at the beginning balance, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But that's what I'm telling you. I need this time off so I can focus on this. So it can be, you know, effective for this. Exactly. You know, yeah. you show them. So it's just like, when you ask for that time, they, they are so happy to give it to you because they just like, yeah. you know, so supportive of what you do. And it's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. I understand. It I is but crazy. What? I don't know Go how it be if you were just coming from somewhere and then you jump right on here. Ready to do, get to the interview. You ain't even all the way mentally yet, there yet. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but that's why I don't do the early mornings, honestly. They be like, can we get them at nine? I'd be like, mm-mm. Can't do the nine o'clock interviews. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> got to get my mind right. I got to be, you know, prepared for what's going to come. I got to get the questions together. I got to study who I'm. I'm very observant, so I like to study who I'm about to interview. You know, I don't like to just get on and try to ask. You know, try to ask questions. I want right. to study and see what type of person I'm interviewing because every question is not for everybody. So it's, I can it's ask not. the same stuff. Yeah. It's not. It's not. <laughs> they be long, also, looking crazy. I also, I also got the album release event coming up August 3rd. Here go the here go the tickets, you know. Okay. So this right here, this right here is August 3rd going down. You know, the book of tribulation album release event. So okay. I got that going. I got that going on as well coming up. So I'm excited. Like I'm excited about you it. You know? I got people. I got people coming out. Like I, I really got people coming out to download cars. They can, you know, get to my music with the download cars itself. The book That's of tribulation. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, I, I got it all. I got it all ready. You know, I, I, okay. I ain't lacking on. I ain't lacking on nothing. I'm around here. I'm, a, I'm at work passing them out. Here you go. Here you go. Hey. Here you go. Cause the work don't go. stop. The work yeah. don't stop. You know, check it out. So I get ask, to work. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> so what is the most rewarding aspect of, of what you're doing as an artist? Like, what do you feel is the most rewarding aspect of it? I think the most reward of the assets about this is when when you don't think people watching you and you don't think people um liking your your stuff when you put on, on social media because you don't see a like or you don't see a heart by it. But when you when you out and about and people just come up to you out the blue, just out the blue mm-hmm. and be like, you trig, ain't you? And then, yeah, bro, I listen to you, bro. You, hey, you, you hard. And it's like, it's an unexpected thing because it's like, how many people am I reaching, you know, by me being consistent in what I do? You never know that. So that's why I stay consistent in everything I do because, I know that I'm reaching people because I'm reaching different outlet. Like this right here is a different outlet for me. So right. when this interview is done, guess what? People going to know who OBK Trig is from, you know, um, Nylon Den outlet, you know? Right. So that right there, I just got to stay consistent. You know, that's it's the like most you're important a vessel. thing for me. Anybody that thinks like you're thinking, it's like you are a vessel. Like, you know, I don't know what your religion is, what you believe in, but it's kind of like how they use certain things in the Bible when they were trying to reach certain people. He never knew how many people he was reaching, but he yeah. kept reaching and he yeah. kept going. So you, that's like the same thing that you're doing. Like you're yeah. just out here, you're moving, you're touching people. You don't know. But at the end of the day, like you said, when they come up to you, they shake your hand, they tell you, hey, or might even recite your lyrics. It's like, Okay. It put a smile okay. on my face. Put yeah, a smile like, on okay. Face. Hey, I'll be like, damn, you know, you know who I am? You okay, know okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's what's up. You know? Yeah. Like, one thing I can not say, I ain't no cocky dude. I'm not cocky. You know, I'm you not that cocky. You can't be cocky in this industry. Yeah. 
you know, people give me my 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 compliment my compliment and stuff. I don't make it feel like I'm 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 all that. You know what I mean? I appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? I'm still going. You know, I'm still walking the path, bro. But I'm glad you acknowledge everything that I'm doing. And that's real. So can you share with us any unique appropriate approaches that you use as an artist to make yourself great? Well, my thing is just to be me. I just be me. You know, everything about what I do is just me being me. Whether I get around a person and I get to cracking jokes or anything and I can just meet you. But when I get around you, it's like I already know you because of the person that I am. And I know people gravitate to me. Yes. You know, like people gravitate to me no matter what room I walk in. So by that by that happening, I automatically feel like I know them. So I I talk to them like I already know them. It's the know? energy. Yeah, it's that it's that energy. You know, I'm a vibe person. I'm I'm a very yep. vibe person. I can get around a person if I feel a certain type of negative vibe. I will move around. Won't even look at your second way again. You know what I mean? Yep. Because you was on awesome something today. All the interviews I've oh heard yeah, I've been waiting on this. I've been waiting yes. on this. I've been waiting on yes. this. You know, say it with your chest. Chill, big bro. Chill. Always say, hey, say it with your chest. You know, say it with you your chest. And I'm the same way with that energy. I was just saying earlier, like when I'm in a room and I feel something, I don't even say it in the event long. I'll be like, all right, I do my little interview. I pack up my <laughs> stuff and I'm out the door. Like, yeah, I'll talk to y'all later. You know, yep. no love lost or whatever. Shake everybody's hand that I need to. Go up, you know, and I'm out the door, you know, and you'll get phone calls like, why you left so early? And you're like, that just wasn't for me. The vibe was really good. That's the vibe. That's the vibe. I don't want to live there. that. You can go in the <laughs> club. You go in the club, yep. be looking around, stuff looking off, and you get that vibe. Yep. I'm just going to go and perform I'm out the door. and I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm not staying yep. to the end of the night. At all, but I already have my aspect with clubs. I do like from six to nine. I'm like, interview six to nine. Anybody after that, they just out. If they end up right. by nine, because I already know the vibe going somewhere else yeah, at the nine o'clock. You already got your <laughs> you already got your format set. Yes, out the door. <laughs> so oh, how do you foster up. a positive work culture? Say that again. That into your, how do you foster a positive work culture in your music? I mean, with my with my music, with my music, with everything that's going on in, in today's world, mm -hmm. you know, with all the like, like a lot of negative stuff, a lot of stuff that we can't believe we've been deceived by a lot of stuff, you know, and stuff that we thought was real end up coming out later on as it was a hoax, you know. So, you know, I can name a few things that I, I feel like was a hoax because you see so mm -hmm. much stuff on social media. So... Mm -hmm. My thing is just to try to stay positive. You stay positive, you're going to attract positive energy, you know, because negative energy don't want to be around positive energy. That's just like misery love company, you know. A miserable person loves company. A miserable right. person right. would mess up something good for somebody because they don't have it, you see. Right. So right. I try to keep myself in a positive mode because – I had my negative positions like prison. I've been to prison three times. I don't think nothing is lower than being in prison where you, you can't be around your family. Um, you got to ask when to use the bathroom, when to eat. You know, I don't think nothing is more lower than that. So me being out here in this type of work uh, environment, I just got to make what's around me positive. You know what I mean? Because I'm, I'm, I'm done being around negativity because all the do is going to lead you back in the same path that you was already in. And I'm so glad you spoke on some of that po positive stuff and the negative stuff that you've been through right here at Power 904. We support mental health and we stand very yep. strong. That's the whole purpose of my yeah. podcast. I do it for artists. I give you an outlet to speak because I feel like even producers, DJs, not just artists, you know, but anybody, mm -hmm. I feel like, that people feel like they're just perfect. And it's like, they're not perfect. They fought to get to where they're at. They're fighting their mentalness every single day to get where they're at. So my question for you is, how do you feel about mental health and what are some things that you do to contain it? Mental health. 
Yeah. When it comes to mental, when it comes to my mental health, you know, if I catch, if I find myself, you know what I'm saying, like going through something real heavy on my mind and I don't want to share with nobody, you know what I mean? And I, and I tend to keep it in. I will put myself in a room to where I can think, you know what I'm saying? I can mm. think, you know, cause you got to realize prison is what was a spot where you in a, 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 a small cell to where you you away from people when you want to get away from people and you don't have nothing but time to think and you mm. can get yourself out of that that negative tip that negative mindset and stuff like that because you you actually take your time out for yourself to get your mental right you know right. then just go off the ledge because you didn't take time to move around and go get your mental right think about what you you know what's bothering you what's going on and thinking about okay if i go this route this can happen maybe i should go this route you know saying to get a better result so i okay. just take time out i just take time out to myself because i don't believe in medicine i don't believe in none of that i just mm -hmm. take time out for myself and just you know think about think about what's going on with me what's what's bothering me and, and try to you know and try to prevent it and try to solve it in in, in, a, in, a, in another way possible and that's and that's so real like you said your mental everything everything starts in the mind and i feel yes. like when people what you what you look at what you hear anything somebody says all goes straight to the mind so if you can't control your mind you're already weak and i think that's, already yeah that's yes and the, and when we you know pass away the first thing to go is your mind your mind is the first thing to go you know you what they call it you know you get amnesia you yeah start, you get you know, the forgetting you stuff you yeah, yeah you, you get forget you can't stuff. remember your people like that's real so your your mind is basically versus your heart is it beats everything you know what i'm saying like yeah, you you yeah, got to be able to control your mind through to. everything that we go through. Because <laughs> if you yes. don't, if, if you don't, you can you get there, there, get talked into doing anything because you're not thinking. Because you you're know? not thinking. You and that's a, a not, like you, a, a dummy <laughs> for you don't even know. And that's what, and it's been, like I said in the morning, it's morning times I used to get up and be so distracted by so many things that's going on around me. So many, you know, just so distracted. I stopped doing that. I started putting my phone on do not disturb. I'm not taking no messages, no nothing. I taught everybody at 12 o'clock. Let me get my mind right when I get up. Right. Let me pray. Yeah. Let me talk to God. Let me you see got... what's going on with me first before I can do anything. You know, so that is a big, big thing for me. My like my mental health. Let me let me get it right. Then I can deal with you. Let me get you, myself yeah, right. Then you, I can you deal have with to, you. You have to like you you <laughs> got to. Or you just like I said, you'll be all over the place. Like if I didn't, if I didn't, if I wasn't sane, and, and and like I said, that period, that prison stuff. I seen a lot of stuff. I done seen people lose their life. I done seen people take their lives. I done I done seen a lot of stuff in prison because. Of their mental, you see what I'm saying? Right. They mental got to them to the point where they 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 took their own life, you know. Mm. And 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 that's something that I'm proud of myself that all the time that I did and I did long term bids like seven years and six years and three years, and I still was able to come out here with my head on my shoulder and still saying and still able to get it as far ahead in this music business as I am right. today. You know? And that's a blessing itself. That's a blessing that's itself. Real. Boy, I'm glad you made it, because look at you today. I get to sit here and talk to you. What? <laughs> what? Yes. So my so, next yeah. question for you... Go ahead. I told, I told people I ain't going nowhere, Shoe. I'm just not getting my feet wet. I made a promise to myself that I was to go hard. If I don't go hard, this go around. And, and and give up, I might well hang the whole rap game up because trying to start all over and get to back where I'm at, take a it's a it's a journey. It's a journey. It it's is a journey. It's either go hard or go home though. Go hard or go home. Paint. You can't stand in the paint, don't get in the paint. Yeah, it, will, it can break it. you and make you at the this end. Is not of the for day. the week. Knowledge this is, is not, not for the week. week. It's not <laughs> for the week. It's like not. for real. 
It's not. <laughs> I, tell, I tell my artists and stuff like, hey, one thing think about the music stuff, like I don't I don't mind being behind y'all, but it's the things that y'all need to know. It's gonna come with sacrifices, it's gonna come with late nights, it's gonna come with things that you don't want to do, but you gotta do it in order to get ahead. So if you want that, then let's get it. But if you don't want that, then don't waste my time or your time because these are the things that's required. Right. Right. Okay, so my next question for you is, um, okay, so we're right here in Jacksonville, Florida. So if I was to run into you right here in the city, you know, and I was, and I was to see you and I'd be like, yo, Trig, let me get your hottest track. What would it be and why? I'm going to give you probably straight serving. I'm going to probably give you straight serving. I got a lot of heat on that thing. And the only reason I say I would give you straight serving because of the energy that it brings. You know, it's an up-tempo type beat. And Florida is an up-tempo city. You know, Florida is an up-tempo city, so I wouldn't bring nothing but an up-tempo song to Florida. Not no, not no, you know, a, a slow beat a slow down song, a slow down beat. No, straight up tempo because really? I'm trying to get people, I'm trying to get people like this. Ooh, this boy, this I, I want people like this, you know? And it was also produced by one of the best producers that I had to work with, which is my guy Doty, King Doty. So, and it'll be, it'll be straight serving because of the energy, you know, it, and, and the things that I say in that thing, it, it, it just, it just brings it. It brings straight it. serving, straight serving. That's the name of it. Straight serving. Okay, so I always have to ask because I like to know where an artist head at or what type of space you was in because we big on mental health. What type of space and what got you to the title to say we straight serving? Straight serving. I I, I came. <laughs> the mindset I was in straight serving was that energy again. I said, you know what? I need a up tempo song on my album that's gonna have people like this. And I tested it for the first time in Austin, Texas. When I went to Austin, Texas for South by Southwest last year, that was the first okay. time I performed that song. And I got feed, I got the feedback that I wanted. And people was like, man, when you did that song, Straight Serving, that was it. That was it. Because it gets people involved. You see what I'm saying? Right. It, it, it get people involved. It can be a certain part in that beat that I have where people pause and come back in, you know? So it's giving people something to do. It, it's, it's getting right. people to interact. It's getting people to interact to the song other than just listening to the song. I'm giving y'all something okay. to react to the song. I'm giving okay. y'all something that y'all can sing along with the song. I'm out okay. here straight serving, distributing them pies. Affiliated with Trill Nick, so effing for you know what I'm saying. So I got okay, something. I'm that I'm, to that. Yeah, I got <laughs> something that I'm got people. Uh, uh, you know, go go listen to it. it's on OBK Trill, all music platform. No matter where you listen to your music, that's where I'm at. Just put in OBK T R I Double G. Spotify, Amazon, YouTube, Google Play. Matter of fact, you can Google me. Go to Google, just Google OBK Trill. Okay. All my stuff will pop up. I love that's how it. Gonna, energy, I'm gonna make yeah. it easy for you. I'm going to make it easy for you. Just Google me. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's what we say when we did. You just Google it. I'm going to yeah. Google it. Google. Head, you know, it's going to pop up. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Straight. Everything. Serving, I love it. I just uploaded my whole album yesterday. So all my whole, the whole Book of Trigulation album going to be released up on the Maverick Global Distribution. Hopefully everything will go through for August 3rd. I want to release it on the same day as the um event. That way I can just have everybody go to their phone and pull up OBK Trig, and there you have it before I go into my performance. All right. OBK Trig is going to be. Okay, so I have a wild card right here in the den. I'm going to pull it right quick. Um, wild card, you in the den. It's a family time. You know, that's what that's what my podcast is all about. You know, getting to know artists one-on-one -on -one time. So I like to pull the wild card because I like to see where your head is at and if as an artist, if you was always on point. And when did you know that your best friend wasn't your best friend? So that you was on something today. So who can you trust? Who, who can, you, can trust? you trust? The question, who can you trust? No one. 
<laughs> at the end of the day. No, no, I take that back. You you got certain ones that you can trust, you know what I'm saying? And I think it'd be the ones that like like you got people that are giving, you got people that are takers. You know what I'm saying? And you know, I only trust a handful of people. And that's because I either grew up with them or you know what I'm saying? And you know they don't make them like they used to no more. They don't breed them like they used to no more. So, right. you know, I it's it's hard to trust people that you even was cool with because I done had some people backstab me, you know, family yeah. and friends to backstab me. So it's definitely a hard, a hard thing to think One about. One thing I learned, especially like what being in the industry is you learn who you're working with and who who you working who, with, yeah. Who, you know, and how we using each other. I they don't like when I say this, but I'd be like, we all using each other at some point. So if we're using each other to come up then we're doing right. If we're using each other to bring each other down, then we got the wrong circle. You go, so you're going to put the wrong around you should, Yeah, everybody around you, we should be using each other for some point. I may get something from you, you may get something from me, but we're moving up. If you're you yeah. getting something from me and then you're taking it and running it off and stabbing me in my back, like you said, then nah, I don't need you over here. Like, we don't. Yeah, that's, that's not, how that, that, that can't be that's tested. How, that's how it works. That's how it works. And yeah. I, you know, that's how it works because I feel like if I, if you hit me up about anything like promotion or anything and I put my time and energy behind you and promote you and then here it is, I need something done or something and I hit you up, hey, bro, I need this. And then you tell me you can't do it. Then it's like, oh, uh, so you can't take time out of your day to do this for me when, yeah. you know, you asked me to do the same thing for you. And I took time out of my day to make sure you was good. So it's like it's time, time. I to, got an issue time with that. The, it's time to cut the umbilical cord after that. You know, we gotta bring like, it to the deal when it gets to yeah. that point. Yeah, bring it to the deal. You can stay in the deal. Yeah. You can go out the door. You get which way? Which way you gonna go? <laughs> all right. right, all right, all right. So I'm not gonna keep you much longer. But my last question for you today is: We just got to know OBK Tree. We got to know a little bit about you. Everything that you do, all the way down from your nine to five. If you could leave us with three things of advice today and three things that we can remember you by all into one, what would it be and why? Three things. Uh, only gonna, three. Only three. You going to remember me for being who I am because, like I said, I'm a person that's, you know, I'm genuine. I'm funny. Uh, I like to crack jokes. Um, I'm a giving person. Um, you know, if I got you need and I and I can give, I will give. It, you know, um, I like helping people out. You know what I'm saying? I call myself a bridge. And I call myself a bridge for the reason that I was told this in, in, in at, at church, that I was going to be a bridge to a lot of people. And I figured mm. this music industry was a bridge to me to help other artists try to make it to the next level because of the things that I know and the knowledge that I know mm -hmm. and the people that I'm connected with. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people not connected to the people that I'm connected with. Mm -hmm. So that's where the bridge come in that with me helping other artists, you know, um, I'm just, I'm just a, 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 a real cool dude, you know, I'm a, like I said, a pe lot of people gravitate to me, you know, people gravitate to me. They, they get around me. You know, I, I didn't have people that I didn't had fallen out with and we end up meeting each other in prison and they started being around me and getting around me and stuff like, bro, you a cool dude. Like, I did not know this about you. No, because we was too yeah. busy. We was too busy trying to knock each other heads off. Yeah. You know, and you didn't know this side of me. So now they get to know this side of me. And then when we do get, when we get back on the streets, everything is all good. You know what I'm saying? It, it ain't no, no um, malice intention between nobody. You know what I'm saying? Like, we good, you know? Because they got And it to goes back to the mind, too. I'd be like, if you let the, if, if somebody can tell you something about me and you can dislike me without getting to know me, then you already weak. That part too, like real. you hear something about me, come back to me. I'm gonna tell yeah. you in your face. I'm that gonna part. tell you in your face. I'm not gonna sugarcoat nothing. I'm gonna tell you whether you know, say either 
right there going to tell whether you're going to fuck with me from there or you're not. No, nope. or you're not. Period. But at least I gave you a choice. At least I gave you a choice. <laughs> so. <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. I love it. OBK Trig right here in the den. So tell the people where they can find you at. Y'all can find OBK Trig on all music platforms. Y'all can Google me. Just put in O B K T R I G G on all music platforms, Spotify, Amazon, YouTube, Google. Put in OBK Trig. I'm there. You know what I'm saying? I got some hot music. My new album, The Book of Trigulation, it is written. It's being released August 3rd on all music platforms. So y'all make sure y'all go cop that. The show, the album release event is August 3rd. Y'all make sure y'all tune in with your boy. That's August 3rd. You know what I'm saying? 1905 Goodson Court, South Bend, Indiana, 46613. Doors open up at 7 to 12. Come. Mess with your boy, you won't be disappointed. I'll let you. All right, all right. So you guys heard it here first, right here in the den with your favorite host, Nala, out of Duval, Jacksonville, Florida. We in the building with it, with OBK Trig, and you are now on our radar. Yay! Yep. <laughs> appreciate it. Definitely appreciate it.